Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be looking at uh, the simple task of port forwarding uh, in WDWRT for services such as Apache, um, uh, Pro FTPD or VS FTPD, and uh, SSH. Um, I'm running version uh, V24 SP2, which is a very common uh, firmware. First thing you need to do is log into your router, have a, head over to NAT. Uh, the first tab, which is port forwarding, simply uh, click add. Now I actually want to add three in my example, so I could do this all at once. So uh, first thing to do is name your application for, uh, so you can easily identify them later on. So Apache, uh, don't need to put the source net from port 80. 192, so what you do here is you type the IP address of the machine. So in my case it's this and Apache runs on port 80 which is common for any web server uh, I run Pro FTPD so go put that in here uh, SourceNet is basically where um, who's requesting to access the, ser uh, the service so leaving it blank means that anybody um, can access the service uh, so 192 oh there we go and that's port 21 I then want to add SSHD and that runs on port 22 that's actually 21 there 192 22 and the last thing to do is make sure that these are all enabled so click save click apply And that's basically done for me. Now the other thing to do is to ensure that um, basically the server's running on 192.168.138. Now to ensure that the server doesn't change IP address within uh, a given time, the easiest thing to do is head over to the front page, uh, look up DCHP settings and change the client lease time what that will do is basically you can make it so the machines don't get a new IP address uh, within a certain time so in my case I've put it on 52594 minutes which is a very large number and that's exactly a year so all my machines will never change IP addresses uh, which is very handy and I hope this tutorial helps bye bye